All right, good morning guys. This is Andy from Mobile Must Have. And in today's video, we're gonna actually travel a little bit um, to a neighboring campsite and put on a new Speed Demon bundle for someone. Now, we don't typically do installs here at Mobile Must Have, but I wanted to do a video, one, because Eric is actually nearby, but two, to show a different type of install. We've all seen the antenna I have up on my roof, and this is just an opportunity to show a different type of install. Uh, this is going to be a big Class A. So let's head on over there and let's get started. Hey guys, we never ever get to do a video with Andy and me in one video. There <laughs> We're you together. go. <laughs> this is Pat from the Integra Owners Association. He's the president. Uh, we've known Pat for a while and we actually bumped into each other up at uh, Traverse City, Michigan, up where our warehouse is. So we got to talking and he's been using a little Wi-Fi hotspot in his 2017 Integra Anthem. And uh, we said, hey, we, we think we can, we can do a little improvement here. So uh, we're going to put in a Speed Demon bundle today, and Andy's here. And yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through basically how we installed it and show you kind of just the steps and the procedures we went through so you can make sure your install looks really as good as we put this one in. Yep, and we are here for another week, so we're going to check in in seven days with Pat, and he can give us uh, kind of his, his take on how things are going and working, and you guys can uh, hear from the horse's mouth, so to speak, in terms of if this stuff works or not. All right, so this is kind of the pre-setup for the roof box here. Uh, Pat's a bit of a, a tinkerer with a background being a shop teacher in his in his former life. So we want to make something very module. So modular, sorry. So what we're going to be doing is installing this box, which is going to allow the Husky antenna here that we're going to be installing to raise up over the roof rails for the Gerard awning on this 2017 Integra. This box is going to have the antenna placed drilled through the roof cap here, so it's going to sit on top to get above those rails. Then the wires are going to exit through this, which is a modular product that we have just added to our store for this year. And essentially you can add in small adapters here that have pre-configured and cut holes to add up to the exact number of wires that you need for your install. The benefit of this is if you ever change out that antenna or go with something different, you just change out that little module rather than having to deal with die core and everything else to maintain the use of the box without having to re-drill anything or replace anything. Now for this little guy, we've got uh, a unit that accepts four inputs. So technically you could get up to 16 wires coming out of this one single junction box. This is probably a little overkill for most folks. I'd say if you're in a standard box configuration for a roof antenna, probably the unit with just two uh, inserts for these cubes is going to be fine. And uh, if you do go with the four, it's probably because you've got a solar install or something else going into this box. So our roof box is prepped. We've torqued down this, ensured that our 12 by 12 box has its seal on there before we screwed this down. And check out how nice that looks. Gives us a lot of expansion opportunities for the future if we need it, but just a nice clean factory finish on that roof box. We're now gonna take this small box and prep it, drill a hole in the bottom and get it ready. This is gonna be mounted on the front of the center cap, which we'll show you when we're up um, on the roof below the roof line, but in a way, in this particular coach, because the cap is above the roof line, we can drill on the vertical side of that cap and get the wires down through into the coach that way. So we're gonna get started.
All right, so we're coming back a week later. We just wanted to ask Pat a couple of questions about kind of really what is he experiencing that's different in the new system versus his MiFi. And your MiFi before was on Sprint, and now we're on at and so that does make a bit of a difference too. Mm -hmm. um, but you're mentioning some of the buffering issues. and Right. I w I've had some buffering issues. You know, you get right into the you know, high action, and it, it stops. You get the spinning wheel. It's <laughs> yeah. so much fun. Right. Always. Always. <laughs> Climax of a movie. And if you haven't had any of those issues now no, with this new that's, system. No, that's the advantage. Yeah, I mean, really, just the overall now, have, did you have any coverage issues before? Oh, always. Campgrounds, you know, are never just out in the, the highest signal strength. Right. So when you're trying to pick up the coverage from inside your coach, uh, this your device puts the antennas up on the roof. Right, yeah. So it's working much better than and what before. about like just Wi-Fi? Like, are you able to get Wi-Fi from before all the way in the back? Were you having any issues with that? Always. Yeah. 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 And now with the internal access point, we have much better coverage outside and inside. So that really, you haven't had any issues since then, have you? No. Great. Great. Okay. All right. So back home. That was a really good day. That was a lot of work. Um, but these, you know, putting in one of these units, it's important to do it the right way. It's important not to have leaks in the long run and to make sure stuff looks nice. That's, I think, an important aspect of, of working on this and putting in time and effort. Uh, now, a couple things I wanted to just talk about that we did a little differently than I've done in other videos is there were two new pieces of equipment. Now, we had the Transit Cat 18, which is a standard piece of equipment in the Speed Demon bundle, as well as the Parsec Husky, which we put on a junction box on the top, which is what Eric walked us through. Uh, now, two other things we added is basically a two-port PoE switch. What that does is, is that provides power, basically, to the PEP wave, but also it provided power to the AP Mini, which is like a Wi-Fi access point, which you also saw. That would be this piece here. Uh, what we can do with that two-port switch is basically just add power. We've got a lot of videos about it, but we can add power to the PEP wave and to the AP uh, Mini all through PoE, which is basically power over Ethernet and 12 volt. Now, if you have more questions about each of those, I'll link them down below for the product listings, but also we have other videos covering how they work or, or what good use cases are, um, so, so check those links out below. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have questions, feel free to leave comments down below. You can also chat with us on our website or email us at info at mobilemusthave.com, and we're happy to help you. All right, guys, hope to see you on the road. Bye. I'll, I'll be the grip. <laughs> Good luck. It's not wood, so we'll see how we do.